Hey guys, uh, doing a video here on close-up pictures of my corals under my AI Prime 16 HD Reflight. Uh, this here is my lemon lime torch. Most of the pictures that you're going to see are under the blue portion of my light of my light schedule. Um, some of them are under the white portion. You'll be able to see there'll be a drastic difference, but most are under the blue. Again, this here is my lemon lime torch. It butts right up against my grafted uh, purple and highlighter torch. As you can see there, they, they touch each other. And then this here is my uh, purple and highlighter grafted torch, all one skeleton. Um, but two different types of torch growing out of it. All right, so in this picture, you can see where that one uh, butts right up against uh, my uh, another one of my grafted torches um, the one that's buttoned up against there is my rasta and highlighter grafted torch again that's two different types of torch um, you can see them there when they're all really full um, full lots of daylight picture um, and here is the rasta and highlighter grafted torch it is uh, one skeleton and two different types of torch coming out of it. It's a, a very pretty one. It's got those bright yellow tips on the Rasta side. All right, so then here we've got some firework clove polyps. Um, got a couple pictures up close here to really kind of show off that color the nice red uh, on the ends there kind of orangey red and the bright green center very pretty clove polyps those were some that i got on a trade that you can see in an earlier video and this is just a a, a hammer coral um bright green tips on it um, darker darker stock on it but the tips are that bright neon green as you can see when you get close up into it there's uh, some bright center there to it And that bright green hammer butts right up against my uh, framer. Um, they don't have any aggression against each other. They, they touch and, and there's no, no issues at all. Um, the purple that you see peeking in there is my purple torch. It's actually a little bit higher so it doesn't touch either of those. It was just the angle of the picture that made it look like that. And then of course, here's my Monty Cap. A couple close-ups here of the edges so you can kind of See that growth and how they're curling in um, the nice white edges and how they, they're orange and they kind of fade to that red. So very pretty color. So then here's that uh, torch that I mentioned, the purple one with uh, cotton candy on the other side. Uh, the cotton candy's pink and blue tips on a green stock. A very pretty piece. It butts up against uh, the Rasta and highlighter torch graph. Uh, all my torches butt up against each other and touch each other with no issues. Um, and they do actually touch uh, some hammers and frog spawn when they get really full during the daylight and, and haven't had any issues. So you can see really, you know, that's one torch 
on the same skeleton, so obviously no aggression there. And that's its uh, button up against my Rasta torch there. Now these are the A cans in the tank. Um, just a couple close up pictures here. See kind of their color and depth. All right, so this is another hammer coral. Um, this one's a, a wall hammer. Um, it doesn't butt up against those zuas. It's just kind of the angle of the pick. Um, very close, but doesn't actually touch it. Um, just comes really close to it. And those zuas that it's uh, uh, sitting behind it are radioactive dragon eye and um, eagle eye they look great under these uh, ai prime lights All right, then, so here we have um, standard green hammer with purple tips. Uh, it butts right up against that uh, frog spawn that you can see poking in the top there. And that frog spawn is uh, green with blue tips. Very nice piece, uh, very pretty when you get really get up on those colors. Um, nice dark green in, in this one. It's not that light faint green that you see sometimes. And you really see that uh, frog spawn just blends right into it. And that frog spawn's also one that touches the torches. Um, it's The head's open really big on it, but uh, the torches leave it alone. They, they touch and, uh, and no, one, no one gets stung. Um, of course, that can always change, but at this point, it, it's going well. You can see kind of there, that's, that's a live picture where, where the torches are touching it. And this is a uh, button scully, um, mostly orange, but you can see it's got some white in it. Uh, there's a little bit of green in it, a couple splashes of color. And here's uh, just some standard neon green candy cane or trumpet coral, whatever you want to call it. Um, also very nice. The heads open up really big, get really fleshy. Kind of has that uh, dark inner ring that you can see there, um, which I think is really nice when, when you look at them. That stands out a bit. And then this here is a grafted hammer. Um, it's got bright green as well as purple tip. And uh, you can see even that one head there itself um, had both colors, uh, the bright green and the purple tip all in the same head. Um, other branches off it have just the bright green or just the purple. Uh, so it is a true graft and uh, more than one color comes out and you can see there where it's touching my torch as well on one of the heads and um, everybody's everybody's getting along at this point but very nice grafted piece um, these are my king midas soas uh, these are another one that i got on a trade uh, with the firework cloves uh, i posted a video on that trade if you want to see these again uh, but a couple nice up close pictures of these guys And then this is some pictures of my Rasta Zoas. I don't have these anymore. If you've watched my other videos, you know I traded these for that lemon lime torch that you saw on the opening. 
Um, it was a big colony of Rastas about the size of my hand, um, including the fingers. It was a, it was a big, big Rasta colony. And I traded it for that lemon lime torch and some frammer. Um, here is uh, another hammer. It is like a mint green with very bright teal tips. Uh, very pretty piece as well. And it, uh, it sits right next to that torch there, but they don't actually touch. Just sits very close. And then we have uh, this trach here. Uh, again, opens up nice, great color under these lights. Uh, just really looks good. All right, so then we got this large wall frog spawn here. This thing opens up really big. Um, most of these pictures are taken under daylight. All these here are under daylight conditions. Um, it didn't, for some reason, it didn't photograph well under the blue conditions. In order to get a really good picture, I had to take daylight on this one. Um, looks great from a distance under blue, but it, it is just so dense in there with those little bubble polyps it, it just didn't photograph well and then here's a just a mushroom it's a you know blue with purple dots and uh, those stripes look white but they're actually teal and a couple uh, uh yuma mushrooms here um you know pretty pretty standard they do have a uh, that dark base with red polyps and there's actually a couple other colors coming out on them if you really kind of look there. Um, this is another wall hammer. Um, this one is purple and gold. So it has a couple different color polyps all marbled in uh, the one wall hammer. So it's very interesting to look at. Um, the marbling is, is random. It's not like it's just down the center or anything like that. The, the colors are pretty random. All right, so then uh, here's one of my acros. Uh, this, these pictures were taken all under daylight conditions. Um, doesn't photograph well under blue. Uh, so I took all these pictures under daylight conditions. You can really see the colors a lot better photographing in, in that light versus the blue. And then lastly here is my um, rainbow bubble tip and enemy. Um, got a couple pictures of it under blue as well. So give me a like, give me a subscribe, and um, check out some of my other videos, and I'll get more content out for you guys soon. Thank you.